careful what you drink and be careful what you breathe. Those are the two areas the enemy is using to weaponize itself against humanity. Amen. Welcome again to our Kingdom Analytics. Every Thursday, same time, I'll be live to share with you. So we're very much aware of um, two things I want to share with you. One is um, about Benny In, and the other is about a prophecy that was given, that was given um, to me by the Holy Spirit, which I shared with the body of Christ last year. And even two years ago, when I said, the Lord told me, the Lord told me to tell believers, to stock up on water. I mean, if you remember that. So we're just going to watch this quick excerpt from um, the breaking news that came forth pretty recently, trending on TikTok and other social media platforms. These are the kind of things that the 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 the, the, um, the news outlets, the big ones, would not want to spread because they don't want to raise panic, they don't want to raise fear. But God is always ahead of time because time is made between within God is the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end, the omega and the alpha and the omega. So I want you to just hang in there as we roll the clip on a video that is trending currently regarding the news of an outbreak with what is now some water problem in the Southwest. Let's listen to this. The agency in the Southwest says it's uh, working with Torbay Council, Southwest Water, NHS Devon and the Environment Agency to investigate 22 confirmed cases of cryptosporidium, which is a diarrhea illness. And Southwest Water have now issued a boil water notice for residents in Brixham. So if you live in Brixham and uh, the Alston and Hill Head areas, you're being told you must boil your water before drinking it following these cryptosporidium test results. Uh, they say that they're issuing it as a precaution. They found small traces of the organism overnight and this morning. They're going to send up, set up bottled water stations in the area uh, to help people in bottled that area. Water and if people stations. are on a priority service, they'll have the water delivered. Um, South of Sorcerer are saying that the data shows that the treated water leaving their treatment works was not contaminated, but 22 people have now come down with diarrhea-like symptoms and they are expecting more people to come forward. Um, and they, are, they don't know the cause of it. So customers in that area, especially the Alston and Hillhead area of Brixham, are being told not to drink your tap water, boil it, uh, and there is going to be bottled water um, provided in those areas as well. Can we stop more on this Can we stop as we get it any more So what you're seeing here is um, one of the biggest news outlets, one of the, one of the biggest news outlets in the United Kingdom called Sky News. Sky News is as big as your CNN and your... Um, Fox News is and edit everything in terms of um, massive presence, social media, I'm sorry, news outlet, news broadcasting and news outletting um, presence in the United States. We have Sky News here in the United Kingdom. So what, we, what we've just seen and we've heard is an outbreak of dysentery and certain stomach upsetting, upsetting, stomach upsetting problems as a result of tap water. Very recently, I think it was two, three months again, two, three months ago, I prophesied again, I again prophesied that the Lord told me to tell the church that we should be careful because the water will be attacked and the air. The water will be attacked and the air will be attacked. What are we eat, what are we drink, and the air we breathe. And I told us to pray. I tell people about this vaccination. I'm talking about vaccination of the blood, being vaccinated by the blood of Jesus. In terms of taking a communion, eating the bread, which is the flesh, and drinking the blood. Drinking the wine, which is the symbolism, symbolism of the blood. Jesus said, do this in, remember of, in remembrance of me. All of these acts, they are not just religious or ritualistic, but it is our humanity coming into a covenant pact with divinity concerning our safety, our preservation, our protection, and um, everything to do with being shielded from the agenda of the enemy. They, they, the Bible says God will not do anything unless he first tells, informs, bring into knowledge his agenda to his servants, the prophets. God is not and can never be mocked. When he says a word, it gets fulfilled. Whether you are American, whether you are British, you're European, you're African, you're Caribbean, 
one thing about God's word is, is what is here and amen. No one can stop God's word. God speaks from the finality and the totality of a, of a completed word that's already performed before it tells us and reveals it to us. Again, please, stock up on water. You cannot fool God. God cannot be mocked. You cannot fool God. God cannot be mocked. We're seeing it now. We're seeing it now. We are very much aware of um, God's agenda for humanity, but how many of us are willing to align ourselves with God's own agenda? I want us to Two, three months ago in church, during the service, I said, the Lord said, the air we breathe, the water we drink, we have to pray. Now look at what is happening. It's happening already. It's funny how this newly titled kind of cough, called whooping cough, is spreading and becoming a new pandemically executed um, trend of affliction on the body of men where man would cough and when it should go it wouldn't go you take medicine it wouldn't stop it or reduce it and we have been told by medical practitioners through the um, health and the, through the health sector of the United Kingdom government I have the letter that was sent to me as a parent to my children that this cough could last once contracted, it could last for weeks, if not months. It could last for weeks, if not months. So, who is feeling who? And if any child of God that is caught unawares in this time, you don't blame God. And I hope you will not start looking for pastors to contract for your spiritual negligence and your spiritual ignorance. I want us, if you roll the clip again, you see where the lady said, boil your water. And she also said, Two, uh, there's a station now being set up to deliver bottled waters. Can we, can we get a part of the clip again? Boil your water and a, 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 a station being set up in the southwest of England to deliver bottled water to people. Now, we're being made to understand, and to, to, we're being made to understand that we cannot trust the tap water. It's on the news. This is not, this is not me, Sky News. Let's roll that clip again, the part that talks about bottled water and boiling the water. And Southwest Water have now issued a boil water notice for residents in Brixham. So if you live in Brixham and uh, the Alston and Hill Head areas, you're being told you must boil your water before drinking it following these boil your water. brilliant test results. Uh, they say that they're issuing it as a precaution. They found it's small a, traces of the organism overnight. It, it, it's a precaution. They're going to send a set of It's a precaution. Can we bring that down? No, it's, a, it's a precaution. They found small organisms. It's amazing how all these things, these organisms pop up from nowhere. So did um, COVID-19 pop up from nowhere that shut down the earth. And when people started revolting and getting tired, suddenly everything opened up again. Listen to me, if you're not very much aware of what we call the depopulation of humanity and reducing the number of living human beings on earth, by which is an agenda of wicked people, then you must be the most ignorant person alive. Um, I'm here to say this to the church. Like I said, whatever you see me analytically deliver from on my platform, to know my life, is focused and centered around anything that would bring any direct danger to us and an imminent threat to the church, the body of Christ, to human beings. We live in a time where the heart of men has waxed cold and men have lost love. Their hearts seared with hot iron. Someone will be dying and all you have is people picking up their phones to record them. No more, no more, comf no more compassion and no more, no more duty of care to our neighbours. In fact, your neighbour wants to see you go down so they can take what you have left of yourself. So I just want to use this opportunity to bring that awareness. Um, again, stock up on water. Prophecies is meant to edify us, is meant to equip us, is meant to prepare us, is meant to heal us, is meant to comfort us, is meant to draw us ever so closely to the Father. Be careful what you drink and be careful what you breathe. I repeat that one more time. Be careful what you drink and be careful what you breathe. Those are the two areas the enemy is using to weaponize itself against humanity. 
Amen.